I'm Carl Maltzer. I'm here at the Lake Martin 100 for the first time. Talk about Speed Goat. Can you talk about how, how did you get that name? Uh, the Speed Goat name was developed back in the mid-90s on a drive home from the Pikes Peak Marathon. Uh, buddies of mine were just driving home, talking, yakking, enjoying the ride, stiff and sore, and we threw out the word Speed Goat. And it just kind of stuck with me, and I sort of brought that with me for the last 15 years, running ultra marathons and marathons on trails, and uh, now it's sort of stuck with me, and someone's got to have a name, so. How many um, ultra marathons have you done, marathons, ultra marathons, 100? That's a good question. I've done about 125 ultra marathons. Uh, the exact number I don't even know anymore. <laughs> but um, I've run 7,600 miles, I've won 37 times at that distance. That's kind of my signature distance. The shorter stuff is really not for me. I'm better at longer stuff. So, so for you, it's that many uh, hundreds. What is your favorite one? I'm, I'm sure most of them you remember. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of favorite races. There's a lot of great trail races. I like all trail races, honestly. But um, you know, Hard Rock has a special place in my heart because it's really hard and it's something that I really focused on in the early 2000s. Uh, Wasatch 100, my home course. I've run it 12 times. Uh, great, fantastic course. UTMB is a great course. I mean, really what for me is uh, exploring new courses and seeing different things is what I like to do. And I won't stay at the same course for every year the rest of my life. I'll kind of venture off, which is why I'm at Lake Martin. You know, it's pretty cool to run something different. What's uh, what's like running so many different hundreds of, from course to course, different areas? From, how how does experience varies? How, how, how do you... Well, I think the experience, experience is always there. You have to know that you'll have bad patches. You have to know that you can get out of the bad patches. Uh, when you go to different places, like whether it's Lake Martin or the Grindstone 100 or UTMB or Hard Rock or any of those places, um, you have to accept adversity and challenge. Uh, things are different all the time. So you just kind of have to accept what's there. I mean, on the East Coast, we're dealing with community, right? So I'm from Utah, I'm like the second driest state on the planet. So um, I have to adapt to the community. So I try to just change my plan a little bit and make sure my, you know, my hydration is right. And that's the beauty of going to a new course. That, like I'm running Lake Martin blind. I mean, I ran two days on the course, well marked. Uh, David Tosh does a great job, but uh, you know, it's, it's different. So it's, uh, it's just rolly hills, and that will relentlessly be tough eventually throughout the course. It's going to be fun. Tell us about uh, if somebody wants to run 100. Um, what for newcomers? What what kind of advice would you give them? Well, I think you have to. Re if you're running a first hundred, I think you have to respect the distance. Number one, um, you have to. You know, it's easy to say, don't be intimidated by the distance, but your first time, yeah, we're all intimidated by it, right? But at the same time, if you've been training well and things are going well, the whole key to it is sticking with, just keep eating, you know? Nibble and sip is like a great piece of advice because you never want to put too much in you at once or too little at once at the same time. Just kind of nibble and sip. And remember that things always don't get worse. Uh, things can actually get better after mile 70. And it is at mile 20 sometimes. I felt terrible at mile 20 sometimes, but you know, I talked myself in to keep going, and by mile 50, I'm cruising along again. So you have to just remember that it's a long day. It's going to take, you're going to go through the night, and it's going to be hard, but when the finishing is the real key. When you finish, you'll remember that I just did 100 miles. 50 miles become super easy, <laughs> uh, sort of. But uh, just remember that you, know, you can do it. Everyone can do it if you really try, you know. If you don't finish and you have a tough day, then you know you go back and get it again, and it's, that's just how it works. You just have to like persevere and be tough. So my next experience, uh, what happened this summer after the Lake Martin 100, I'm heading to the Sonoma 50 in three weeks. That's really just uh, going to go visit my friends. Um, a lot of friends of mine run, are running there, so I'm going to go and hang out, drink some good wine in Sonoma, probably more or less just have fun. And then try to break my world record at uh, speed golf for 12 hours, where I currently hold the record for 229 holes in 12 hours. Silly record, doesn't really matter much, but after that, I'm focused all about the Appalachian Trail. And I'll be chasing Scott Jurek's record, which, you know, I hope to break it. Uh, at the same time, um, the experience of being out on that trail is like no other. Um, if you've ever been on the AT, you'll learn that eventually when you get on it. But uh, I have a great support crew, Red Bull's behind me, Hope is behind me, all my sponsors are behind me, and uh, I'm hoping that in early August when I start, I will be successful sometime in September. I got Scott and Jenny Jurek helping me at the end, which will be really inspirational for me. And uh, you know, and also other great friends, my wife Cheryl and Eric Bells and Mike Mason and 
Dave Horton, the list goes on. But uh, that's really my focus for the year. And will that put a stamp on my career? Hopefully it'll put a stamp, but it won't put the end of my career. Uh, I just hope that uh, I get to go out and do these things that I love to do the rest of my life. And that's, for me, that's what's really most important, is to be out there and doing what I like to do. And whether I get faster or slower my old age at 48, uh, it doesn't matter so much to me anymore. It's really about just being out here and enjoying and teaching other people too. I mean, coaching people has been a great thing for me as well. And I've learned a lot from people that I've helped. So for me, it's always a learning experience. And you know, you live once, so why not enjoy what you're doing for the rest of your life? Great, thank you. Thanks for coming to yeah, Alabama. Thanks, and, thanks uh, for having me in again. Alabama. It's a cool place. I remember and how to say, how are you all doing? Enjoy Lake Martin. So. Lake Martin course is great. I mean, if you haven't run 100 before, this would be a great starter race for you. Thank you. We'll, we'll see you at the course tomorrow. 6.30.